Hi everyone, I'm your host Lakendra Kumar and today we're going to discuss microbial nutrient requirements. In this particular topic, we're going to cover macro elements or also known as macronutrients. So let me write it down. So this is the topic which is microbial cell requirements. So we'll start this topic by showing you the microbial cell. Suppose this is the bacteria and the 90%. So this is one of the important fact that 90% of the cell dry weight is made up of specific elements. And what are those elements? First is carbon, second one is oxygen, third one is hydrogen, and then you have nitrogen, which is one of the important part of the proteins, and then you have sulfur. Next is potassium, phosphorus, after potassium you have phosphorus, and then you have calcium, magnesium, and iron. So these are some of the important macro elements. After magnesium, you have iron. So these are some of the important macro elements. So let me write it down. I will mention these as macro elements or macronutrients. And here, important fact is why they are called macro elements or macronutrients. Why we are using the word macro? Because these are required in large amount. So that is why I am writing here because these are required in large quantity, large amount. Bacteria need, specifically if we talk about many bacterial cells, these cells, they require these elements in large amount. And in a bacterial cell, you have four major chemical compounds, which are carbohydrates, proteins, fats, and nucleic acids. In nucleic acid, you have DNA, RNA, and polymers. So for these four essential polymeric compounds, there are specific macronutrients or macro elements associated with these. And what are those? This is very important. You need to remember that for carbohydrate, protein, fat, and nucleic acid, you have C, O, H, N, S, P, means car carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, sulfur, and phosphorus. And the other remaining macronutrients that are mentioned in the blue color, you can, you can see here, the other ones, they are present as ions, which are calcium, magnesium, iron, and potassium. So these are present as ions. So they are not required in that high quantity, but they are required in large quantity. And now, what are the functions of uh, these macro elements? Specifically, we talk about potassium. It's important for enzyme activity. Calcium, it's important for heat resistance. If you talk about bacteria, then you have magnesium. Magnesium is important cofactor for various enzymes. These are important in case of ATP synthesis pathway. These are important for the functioning of ribosomes, etc. And then we uh, we are going to discuss about the iron. Iron is present in two form, two positive, and Fe three positive. They are important for cytochromes and important for enzymes as a cofactor. So as you can see here in this video, we try to discuss what are the macro elements. What are the micro elements? We have also discussed the examples. And then we have covered the essential chemical compounds such as carbohydrates, proteins, fats, and nucleic acid for the bacteria. And then we have discussed what are the chemicals required to synthesize these compounds. And then we have also covered some of the important functions of the ions. So I hope this video is going to help you to understand the macro elements. And this is the uh, part of the topic microbial nutrient requirements. I will see you in my next video where we're going to cover interesting topics like this and I hope these topics are going to help you understanding the microbiology better. Take care.